I always look for some minority people who has a particular problem after the disaster, because the government and and the UN organization uh, are responsible uh, to make a kind of standard answer for most of the people. But there are many minority people who cannot fit into that kind of the, the category. They have particular problems. So I always uh, find look for some particular minority people who has a particular problem to solve by architecture. No social type of architecture exists in the past because the architecture and the architects are only working for privileged people, uh, religious group, uh, king, even now we work for big corporations, developer, government, so all privileged people to, to make a uh, their power and uh, money visible because the power and money is invisible. And uh, uh, usually also architects like to work for the, the, the privileged people to, to design the, the monument using their, their, uh, their uh, power and money. Um, but the, after the industrial revolution start, many people start moving into the city and we need to build social housing. That's the first time architects ever work for social uh, for the, for society. But now more and more there are so many disasters happening all over the world, and many temporary houses, temporary structure are necessary after disaster. So there is more more opportunity for architects to work, not only for the, the general public but also the, for the uh, victim of the disaster, the uh, earthquake, the victim of natural disasters, and the natural disaster almost being a man-made disaster. As I said, the, the, the people recognize these are no longer natural disaster. This is man-made disaster. For example, earthquake doesn't kill people, but the collapse of the building kill people. And even China in uh, last May they had a terrible earthquake. Over 8,000 school buildings uh, this uh, collapse, and many children died, and none of government building collapse. So this is man-made disaster, and this is also responsibility of architects and the contractor and the authorities. Then, so people, I think, uh, must have started recognizing this is no longer a natural disaster which can be by, solved by just government. So we need to, to, to give some idea and some experiences uh, to make the situation better. Uh, the, the most important study uh, they have to make in order to be architect is traveling. Uh, many different countries meeting different type of people with big, different background. That's the most important uh, st study they have to make after they finish. No, not only finish, but during the school days. Uh, you cannot design good architecture by just reading or working for architects. It's the traveling is the most important uh, training.